So welcome to East Chester Vault Week 2. We are going to look back in 2013 and see the East Chester versus Lakeland triple overtime game. Uh, we're here with uh, nine of the alumni players right now, and some more might be joining up a little bit later. I um, think it's best to just kind of start with the offensive line and defensive line and kind of go from there. So first off, I want to start with number 74, A.J. Spinelli. Um, you okay. were a right guard. Yep. Know. Yes, I was. He's a big reason that we run for a lot of yards in this game, so keep an eye on 74. Oh, thank you. A.J., thanks for coming, man. No problem. Um, offensive line, also the center, also a senior captain, and also now a coach, so you guys all know him. Number 66, Tom Puccini, who's a senior at this point. Welcome, Pooch. Well, thank you, thank you. Glad to have you here. Um, don't think he played just O-line at this point. Uh, two, Pooch, you played deep tackle as well. You were one technique, so you Correct. played sides of the ball. Uh, another two-way player on the offensive line and defensive line was number 75, J.C. Navarretta. Um, it made a big impact, um, especially on defense in this game. Uh, so, J.C., welcome. We're glad you're here, bud. Yeah, glad to be here. And then we're going to go to all of our running backs because we had a ton of running backs um, in this particular <laughs> offense. Uh, let's start with number two, Steve Nondway. Uh, I did say that right, Steve? Right? Yep, yep, you got it. Steve Nondway um, had a great start to this game in the first quarter, then unfortunately uh, had a little bit of an ankle sprain or some type of injury that kept him out later in the game, but uh, had a big impact early on. So, Steve, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, coming back from injury, I believe, Mike, you were a captain, right? Yeah. Mike Marcico, number 24, he was a safety primarily in this game. Also got in a little bit of running back. The first game of the year, he had a high ankle sprain, so he wasn't playing. So this is really his first game of the season. And uh, Mike makes an impact on both sides of the ball. Mike, thanks for coming, bud. Thank you for having me. Um, Rob Lally, number 22, he was a corner and a wing back as well. Uh, had a big impact on defense in this game. I don't think we got the ball as much as we should have to you in this game, but um, you'll see kind of why because it'll end up being the Will Tracy show soon. But um, <laughs> Rob Lally has a big catch on in the game, and then he also has a big defensive game. So number 22, Rob Lally, welcome, bud. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Um, John Marson was a Sam, a uh, strong outside linebacker, and also played a little bit of wing back in this game. Uh, he was number 15. Uh, welcome aboard. Yeah, I was a little slow for running back. Yeah. <laughs> you were originally a receiver, though, right? Until I mean, Schultz took my spot. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, let's just go perfectly into that. Uh, number 85, who was the only non-senior in this game. He was a sophomore at the time. That's Andrew Schultz, number 85. Um, had his coming out party already the game before versus Tappan Z, but has a, another big game here as a receiver. So, Schultz, welcome. Me. And um, last one here, even though we have some, may have some more joining up a little bit later, is, is without a doubt the MVP of the game. Uh, the fullback at the time, number six, Will Tracy. Um, I don't want to even ruin what he does in this game, but um, his play at fullback and his play at linebacker was extremely helpful for us winning the game. So, Will, uh, welcome and thanks for coming. Yeah, glad to be here. All right. So as I mentioned, guys, we're now going to um, play through the beginning of the game to just mute your mics a little bit. Um, I'm just going to do a talk through of the game for about three minutes. Okay. I'll be quiet too. And um, if you need to add anything a little bit later, please let me know. If there's any problem with the sound as well, please let me know too. Welcome to East Chester Vault week two. Uh, we're going to go back to the year 2013. In a regular season matchup, uh, nothing really surrounding the game was too, too important. Uh, you have East Chester, facing the, uh, East Chester Eagles facing the Lakeland Hornets. Ultimately, this was the second game of the year. Both teams were coming in with an 0-1 record. I will say um, East Chester, um, we thought at the time, were upset by Tappan Z in game one. So this led us to be a little bit more hungry in game two. Uh, but it turned out really not to be an upset because Tappan Z that year, um, even though they were the underdogs coming into the game, ended up going, I think, 8-1 and one and going to the semifinals of the playoffs. So they were a very, very good team. And uh, East Chester lost to them 28-27 in the first week. Um, what This game is – there's not a lot surrounding it, but this is just an incredibly fun game to watch. It was an incredibly fun game to be a part of. Um, there are so many elements to this game that went back and forth that um, we think you guys would find very interesting to watch. Uh, first and foremost, the game, I think, was, was played on a Monday night. 
which uh, because of the Jewish holiday in September, this forced us to play on a Monday night. So the game played at six o'clock. The game was extremely long. First and foremost, it was a triple overtime game. It had everything you could ask for in a football game. It was a lot of drama. There was a lot of intensity. There was a lot of physical play. Um, there was a lot of chippiness uh, between East Chester and Lakeland, and you'll see that in the game. Um, but East Chester does not get off to the start they want to. They're down 20 nothing in the second quarter. And um, it's a hell of a comeback win that they're going to have. But even when East Chester makes the comeback, there's going to be a ton of back and forth. Um, as you watch the game, you're going to see it all. Um, you're going to see East Chester make a, um, a very big comeback behind Will Tracy, uh, the fullback who rushed for uh, over 140 yards in this game and four touchdowns. Um, he also had a two-point conversion. Uh, the East Chester uh, defense did not get off to a great start, but as the game went on, they started to get more of a sense for what Lakeland was doing. Uh, Lakeland had a very good player, number six, Anthony Capozzi, who just he went off. And uh, they had trouble stopping number six in their quarterback. I think his name was Prunty, Connor Prunty, I believe, um, the whole game. So it, it's a great back-and-forth game. A lot of big plays, a lot of offense, a lot of good passes, a lot of good runs. Um, the game has uh, incredible field goals uh, in the last seconds. They have, um, you know, great overtime performances, a lot of drama in the overtime. That is just a lot of, bit, uh, a lot of fun. And, um, you know, ultimately the game's going to come down to, you know, one play and uh, East Chester is going to end up making that play. But there is a lot of differences that are going to come into this particular game that um, just make it a really fun game and enjoyable game, um, you know, at the time. So even though it was just a regular season game and it was on a Monday night, um, this game even at one point had the lights go out in the fourth quarter and that caused a 20-minute delay. Um, I think we personally remember um, – you know, even as a Monday night game that started, I think at six o'clock, I don't think the team got home until like midnight. I mean, it was a crazy, crazy game. And, um, you know, we hope you guys tune in and enjoy it. It is a long film, but I think if you, you sit through and you watch it specifically the last 15, 20 minutes of this game, you'll be, you know, shocked all the crazy things that happened. So uh, we hope you enjoy the film. And uh, we're now going to present East Chester Lakeland for East Chester Vault week two. All right, guys, so anything I miss as the video kind of gets playing here, um, now's your chance to kind of add some things, uh, but I'll open up to you guys. Is that a pretty good summary? Yeah, that was a really That's good summary. Well. Yeah, honestly, the only thing that I would say is that we were really pissed after that first game, so we kind of knew we had to win this one. I think all, all practice that entire week, we were kind of just mad about losing, so this was kind of mm -hmm. – early, early, like, make it or break it type thing for us. That was a really tough loss to swallow. I remember that. That first game. I, I felt like this game, as even as coaches, we felt that intensity, too, that we really needed to win this game. So, yeah, I think we come out a little tight early on in this game, as, you know, you'll see. Uh, first down here, th their quarterback just has a great game. And that's uh, number six. That's uh, him running over Gallucci. He has a great game, as we'll see here. Come out this way again. This time, JC, one of your first of many tackles, Phil Pinto went on as well. Uh, JC, you have a really good game, especially in this first half. Like, you have a lot of tackles early on in this game. As a defensive end, you did a great job. Has anybody rewatched this game film recently before this, besides you, Coach Panio? I haven't seen this in a nope. while. Yeah, me either. I remember all of it. That, it's... Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen this since film. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> since that year. There's JC again, uh, forcing a fourth down there. So JC, two early tackles. Gets us to a fourth and one. A big play here early on in the game. You know, get the ball back, get some momentum. I mean, they're running at us. A little false start. Mm -hmm. That's right. I forgot about that. So we get the stop we needed, you know, to, to go here. It, it's it's not the, you know, it's like, okay, we got our three and out. We get a punt, get the ball back, and uh, then we kind of go to work on offense. And we even on offense get off to a good start. And then the game just kind of unraveled a bit. And it comes like a, like a train wreck almost. 
Uh, first play is a handoff to Will. It's going to be a lot of Will Tracy. First carry out of 26. It's a lot of just hard three, four wow. yards, and they start shooting through. Well, I'm going to ask you right now in the beginning of the film, um, did you remember any being any more sore in this game after when it was all said and done because you took a beating? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, th I don't think I went to school the next day. <laughs> <laughs> but that was not normal. But, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely really tired after this game. Yeah. Three overtimes, being fullback, getting beat up in the middle all game and stuff like that. Yep. I think the week before this, Gallucci, the quarterback, has a really big game. You know, running the ball, you know, uh, throwing the ball, and even on defense, he had an interception. So this game, I mean, the game plan was clearly to stop him. And, um, you know, Galu you know, Gallucci, who's not here right now, was he ran the triple option well. He just always took what the defense gave. So, like, if, if they're going to keep letting the fullback go, he's going to keep giving it to the fullback. This time Steve's going to get a pitch on the outside and we start going. I'm feeling right now as a coach, like, okay, moving the ball, got a three and out. Me and Pooch destroyed that kid. Yeah, we yeah. put him down. In the <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Offensive line. Ball start looking like running hitches there. Hoban hitches. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, a defensive, uh, defensive encroachment. Uh, hand off to Will. Oof. That doesn't look fun. They're a physical no. team. They're a physical team, Lakeland. Yeah, they were pretty And good. they talked the whole game. They yeah, did the whole the game. game. They yeah. were, did not were stop. Mike's first handoff of the season. Pretty solid run. There you go. Getting a couple yards. Mike, you must have been just more overhyped than you probably ever were for any game. Because when you miss a game – after having an off season off, it's probably like it kills you. Yeah, I mean, I was really stoked to play that senior year itself, and then when I got injured and I missed the first game, it tore me apart to be on the sideline, like wishing you were playing, you know. And then this next game was I was dying to play. Yep, absolutely. Now that's a very tell tell sign right there. So Gallucci misses Lolly up the seam there, but later on in this game, that's going to become a big connection. So keep an eye on that. This that was, was the fourth down. Yeah, yeah, a couple of seams were able to hit. Um, this is a fourth down. I forgot we ran no huddle, guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we still have a tan line from that wristband. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm going rocket to Steve. Gets the first down pretty easily. Room to spare. Moving, moving, moving the ball well, guys. And that side of line was like 600 pounds, so I hope. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It is. More. A heavy line. Yeah. yeah it definitely was. And a little up the middle there. Ooh, another one, JC. Yeah. Which that kid just got pushed like five yards back and just on his back. Just... <laughs> <laughs> That's this time through the hitches, sailed into Hoban. I mean, Gallucci gets off to a tough start throwing the ball. He misses some, some ones that he usually makes, and he starts getting it going in the second half. You'll, you'll notice a, a big difference in his play as the game goes on. And then we run the wrong way. We run the wrong play. So now we get a fourth down. Yeah. And, um, actually, what happened there? What happened? Yeah. I think we probably maybe called outside veer or maybe your veer, and then like he went the uh, the wrong way. Mm. Sort of thing. Yeah, it looked like a wide step. Yeah, it, it just looked like the steps were off, which is rare for for Gallucci and Will, but I'm sure something was off there. So this is our fourth down play now. Versus Tap and Z, this play we were gashing Tap and Z on, mm -hmm. even though it was fourth and long, we decided to run it, but this time like Lakeland's ready for it, and uh, we get the turnover on downs. You know, so we get a pretty good drive. Uh, but we're not able to capitalize. And uh, this is where things start to go wrong. Uh, so let's just mute our mics and uh, listen to this play. So one thing in this game was we had Johnny Donadio, who was, I believe, usually a middle linebacker. We had bumped him out to Will this game. 
And um, they ran a little bit of play action. So he should be covering number six, who runs by him, unfortunately. And uh, they get the big play touchdown. Mm. What, was Wayne hurt this game? Wayne was, was banged up this game. Um, he ended up not playing, I believe. I can't remember the reason. It might have been his uh, shin. Uh, oh, yeah, he had a muscle contusion that lasted the whole season. Right. Yeah, I think it was some sort of leg injury. Right. <laughs> bad, bad, bad bruise. Um, and they end up pushing this field goal. So it, it should, it's actually 6 nothing. I think in the thing I put 7 nothing, which is my mistake. But uh, they do get off to the early lead here. Yeah, this is the first and last time you see the uh, arm sleeves on me. <laughs> little foreshadowing. Yep, there's a fumble there, and Lakeland recovers. I'm just kind of looking at Coach Fred's reaction I, on the sideline. He has the hands behind the back. He's tilting his head, and it's just like, all right, here we go. Not, not the look you want from Coach Fred. No, not the look you want from Coach Fred. <laughs> um, so now they have the momentum, and they're going to capitalize. They run a sweep. Rob does a good job. They get a, uh, a pass Gallucci. Well, Tracy's there, just stops him short. And uh, they're going to – That was the play in the paper right there. Yeah, that was the play in the paper. It wasn't you, Mike. It was Will. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. saved the touchdown? Who saved the touchdown? So, let's credit him for that. But it won't matter very much here because here comes the next play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Steph. So, first off, let's look at the formation. Formation is really weird. It's called Maryland Eye. Mm. They have two tight ends. They have three in the backfield. And they run it at our new Will. And uh, I think it's Stefano Scarpa here, who's a junior corner. This is a complicated thing. So, they're able to sneak someone out of the backfield. We're not ready for it. And uh, we're down the whole 13 nothing. That was Stefano's uh, second game. So, he was definitely was – yeah, definitely at a disadvantage there. Yeah, yeah. He played, late. he played better later in the game, though. Hundred percent. That's what happens in some of these games, especially when you fall down early. It's like little things like that. So, Lakeland's off to a good start. We're not, and uh, we get the ball back here. This time, Lolly has it. Has a little uh, good run up the sideline here. Gets us good field position. Is there anything you guys remember at this point in the game where it's like, okay, we're down 13 nothing? You guys lose confidence or you guys still felt okay, felt it was early sort of thing? So as a coach, I still felt okay, I think. We were good. Yeah. We didn't yeah. get points on the board. You, you feel it, though. I mean, I don't want to say losing confidence, but you definitely start to get that feeling that we're kind of getting beat. You're definitely, you know, they're being physical with us. And, you know, even on the scoreboard, we just weren't playing well. But yeah. – uh, we didn't let that get to us. Yeah. I mean, even from a defensive, defensive perspective, I'm like, we just got beat on a couple of, like, big plays. So I was like, whatever. Just play better. That was pretty much it. You could tell in the difference in my stance is that I definitely felt the punch in the gut. Yeah. You watch the way that I line up. You could tell that I'm definitely feeling it. I'm definitely upset about what just happened. Yeah, we don't answer here because now we just go three and out. They're getting a little pressure. We got to punt again. It seems like we're rushing through this because this game is so damn long. You know, this this is just like the tip of the iceberg with this game. There's so many possessions. There's so many big plays. So I'm not gonna lie, being a long snapper and rushing down the field is probably my favorite part of high school. <laughs> so much. Fun. I did it too, Rob. It is fun. So fun. There's Gallucci. Gallucci, I think, finished all section this year. Yeah, yeah he did. Uh, there's the first flag, and there will be many. Do you remember anything about that, Will? Did he say something to you? Did you? Probably. He was talking the whole game, so I'm pretty sure he said something. I was saying something back, so I was sure. pissed at this point. You certainly uh, – they got the penalty, so certainly didn't seem like you did anything wrong here. Easy throw out there. Cover three. Yeah. Something like this quarterback starts like 10 of 10. And that was an easy throw, don't get me wrong, but like – he had a great game, too. Mm -hmm. He was a big guy. All right. Ooh, Carson, I want to highlight you here just because this is going to set up something later. I think you know what I'm going to set up. They run this play here. Do you notice something? Yeah, I'm, immediately I'm thinking scissors. Right. 
So you're yeah. a little late here. Yeah, if but I ran faster. Game, yeah. We'll come back to that because you won't be late on another one. <laughs> so they get a big play on third down, make it fourth and five. All right, force the punt. Get the stop we needed. Not a great punt, but it rolls. All right, end of the first quarter, 13 nothing. Hasn't been a great start to the game. We got the ball coming out. And uh, see what we can do with it here. This time Gallucci gets going a little bit. Five yard run. Gallucci was on JV, like, would constantly break midlines and stuff for big touchdowns. It was tough, you know, this game to see him kind of bottled up a little bit. But that was a good game plan by their coach. They said, you want to make the fullback beat us, and the fullback ended up beating him, but can't blame him. It's just another one of those, just to go back. Like, that hurt him so much. Just should have dove. These are, like, you know, little physical mistakes. You get some pressure. Just kind of just missing these throws. You know? That was a touchdown. It was a big one. We're going yeah, to there seems there seems to I think Rob's the only kid that got in better shape after high school, so he might have actually <laughs> caught that today. <laughs> it is something, man. You are in hell of a shape, hell of a shape for Yeah, I was telling him how you robbed my home run. <laughs> that was the luckiest catch I've ever made. That's a good catch. All right, so we go with the old twirl screen to Steve. Steve has a good good game here. We have a penalty. Yeah, every time Steve touched the ball, he was getting at least 15. He's yep. good for, like, the first couple quarters. And I don't yeah, know, he yeah, hurt. According to my calculation, seven yards of carry. And uh, that looked like a 15-yard reception call back. Yeah, there was a lot of flags in this game. It's time to run Frisco. Good throw, good catch by Fred Hoban. Where did Fred end up going to play again? I, I can't think. Carnegie Mellon. Carnegie Mellon. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. It's a big first down there. All right, so this becomes a rather big formation for us. When we bring Jonathan Goldman in and take either Hoban or Schultz out, I think maybe just Hoban, Hoban out, we bring in a tight end and start running this formation, this becomes a big formation later on in this game. Not one there, but once we start realizing as a team they haven't been as prepared for that formation, we start gashing them on some really big plays. So let's keep an eye on junior Jonathan Goldman, number 55. And uh, some of these plays here that start to be really, really good for us. Truck, Tom? Is that Wasn't it truck? Yeah, truck left. Not trying to give too much information to the. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> to the people at home. <laughs> Though I guess we don't call it truck anymore. We call it something else. I know I'm being such a coach here, Rob Lally, and I apologize. Do you know, like, I feel like this whole game, like, our rockets were, like, so tight. You know what I mean? I feel like we were just, like, catching, like, so, like, behind the guard sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, you had room. Felt like we had some room to the outside, but obviously. I, I, that was the biggest uh, takeaway from high school was that I need to stop trying to cut the ball back inside and <laughs> run to the sideline. Okay. I did it on so many rockets that could have been touchdowns. And, yeah, we met, like we may have gotten, like, 20-yard gains on them, but if I stayed to the outside and just followed J.C. and Spinelli like I was supposed to, touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see later the one rocket that I actually caught this game. Probably same thing. That was just slower than Rob, honestly. <laughs> we try that seam again. Coach Fred looked a little early. That was a PI. Looked a little early for sure. But, like, you know, it's, things are certainly not going our way. And then they fumble it away. I think – I can't remember who came away with it here. I think they so tough to tell. We got a little break there. So it's tough to tell. Might be Goldman. I really can't tell who got it. Might be you, Marston. I really don't. I really, really couldn't tell who got it, so I didn't mark it down. But a big fumble recovery. Now we try to run a waggle, and we get a holding. Like it's like tough to watch, guys. 
it's like two separate games when you watch them. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. We're still being recorded here. <laughs> You're muted, Tony. You're muted, Tony. I'm like, that was, that's not good. All right, let's go back a second. So, this is gonna kill the rating. The screen or no? Uh, no. I can't see the game. Damn Wi Fi. So, uh, we just had a little penalty, brought us back. I now running, uh, we're running Veer. So screen sharing. I just want to make sure I am recording, which I think I am. It still says recording on the top of our screen. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. So now Steve gets to the outside here, and, like, you get going. Do you remember stepping out? I mean, like. Steve, you're muted. I feel like yeah, I think I, I think I did step out. Oh, man, I mean, I felt like you were up the sideline. I felt like we had a it good. Was, it was game. close. Yeah, but it's just like one of those things. Like in this game, like yeah. this is the type of things that were going wrong for us. Like we had a, a thirty-yard gain, you no, know, and he stepped out of bounds early. Now we're third and eleven. Good old waggle throwback. Lock and intercepted. Yeah. Just yeah, definitely yeah, not a I great feeling. No, this is when. Let's watch. Um, yeah, that's a penalty. You like, I didn't even do anything. Who's stepping in? I got a tag tone. <laughs> I won't say I was innocent, but <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see anything. Yeah, so that, I think you probably said something, but there's just so much of that. Like so many of the, those little things that happen and they're gonna come with a big one here, so let's watch. Tony, so when does that kid get hurt? <laughs> no, he does in 27 gets hurt. Oh, 27 gets hurt. They're fullback. You know what's, what's, what's amazing is it's like – so Johnny's a very good football player, but Johnny's like playing out of position here. He's a middle linebacker. We needed a will. He steps up and plays well. And it's just like they found him. It's like they just realized or just unlucky, just they found him a little bit and they're attacking him. And uh, they're off to – they're off to this – an awesome start here, and and I think this is the point in the game. I'm like kind of saying because like on JV we were, where we go seven and one, I'm seven like, and one. I'm like, we're too good to be down twenty to nothing here to Lakeland. Not that Lakeland's a bad team, but like we're better than this. And I think from this point on, we start to see ourselves play a lot better and play like the team, you know, we're supposed to be. Oh, another good run there. I think if he cut to the left, right, Mike? Yeah. Who's seventy? Who's seventy nine? They just murdered somebody. <laughs> right? That was Tim Pone, I think. Yeah. I think it was yeah. Tim He Pone? just crushed, crushed somebody. Yeah, it was Tim Pone. All right, let's see where we go here. Oh, after a timeout. Now in Jet to Steve. Do you remember when particularly you get hurt, Steve? Oh, right here. Right yeah. here, right? Yep, down on the ground a little bit. I remember that one. I had my best game blocking this game. That's my gun ball. I couldn't do anything else. Good catch there. So, you know, <clears throat> got to credit Coach Boyer a little bit because he started to figure out exactly what coverage they were in, what they were doing, and we really started to execute. Um, a lot better. Uh, Will's starting to get going now, too. Five-yard run up the middle. This time, Gallucci, we fumble. Charity hop to Rob. No stress on that one. <laughs> Kept the positive. Yeah. Flag. Yeah, flag, I think I might, but maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> There's a whole lot. 
<laughs> I told you I was hungry to hit someone. I didn't hit someone all summer. <laughs> <laughs> then you kill dude up top. Well, see, here it goes again, because now they get a flag for, you know, late hit on Rob. And it's just like a whole lot of this. It's, it's, it makes it entertaining. I got decked. Yeah. This time, Mercico for one. Looks like I have a little more there, but third and one coming. And, and this, is a, this is a built-in excuse, obviously. But, like, I think when you play Monday evening at 6 o'clock, it's like very tough to get off to a good start. Driving all the way out to Lakeland. Mm -hmm. It's going to be slow st starting for sure. Weren't we late to this game too? Didn't we have to wait in the gym for a while for our bus? Anybody remember that? Sounds about right. Thunderstorm yeah. or something? Raining? Yeah. Probably. yeah. It was just a bizarre – I felt like I was living in Twilight Zone coaching in this game. I really do. And then all the things that are about to transpire. This time, they cover up our veer pass, and they sack Lucci. It's probably like less than five minutes left in the half now. We know, you know, we know we get ball at half, too. So, I know if we could just put on a touchdown here, get the momentum back a little. Completion out to Rob. I right, so got a big fourth down coming. But there was a penalty. And I want to ask you guys, do you remember what that penalty was? Because I don't know what it was. Roughing the quarterback. No idea. No, I have no idea. Whatever it was, it was huge. It gave us a big fourth, uh, first down. Pitched it out to Marcico this time. Pretty good block, block, block by Lolly. And now we're inside the six. Speaking of six. All right. I think we're a couple plays away from scoring our first touchdown. I don't think it's this one, though. But maybe I'm wrong. Toss to Marson. Yeah, I suck. I don't think he had much room there. Time we throw it out there. Incomplete. All right, so in a 20 nothing game, this is four down territory. And uh, here comes Jonathan Goldman, 55, into the game. And uh, I think Coach Boyer realizes something here, so let's take a look. There he is. <laughs> Bill breaks through for his first touchdown. Do you guys remember the name of that play? We don't run anymore, so it's okay to say it. Outside beer. Outside beer. <laughs> that was the play. That was the play Lakeland didn't, wasn't prepared for. And this is the play we start gashing him on. So this is the first time here. Get some good blocks from Phil Pinto. Jonathan Goldman, good read by Gallucci. And, uh, well, Trace, you have some good runs in this game, but I think that was the easiest one for you. Oh, yeah. Finally felt good to – Take it a little bit outside and yeah. up the middle. Get out, get outside and uh, get a big touchdown there. So, in terms of the game, we got a big touchdown right before half. And, Will uh, was definitely MVP, but if you're going to name second, Quan's without a doubt. Yeah. He has a huge kick later on. Oh, yeah. um, again, I have it 20 to 7, but it might be 20 to 6, so I apologize about that. Um, I just thought Clem's like made every extra point, so. I just kind of assumed he made it, but I don't think he did. Great tackle there by Scarpa. Uh, this kind of pushed the kibosh on them, like, in terms of getting a big mm -hmm. drive. So we're kind of going to get to halftime here shortly. Marson with the big tackle. It was that type of game, Morrison. It's like every yeah, I put my hands up. I was like, I'm not getting a penalty here. <laughs> and then there's the most obvious plays later on that are penalties, and they don't call them. It's kind of crazy. But it's, it's tough to ref. It really is. All right, 20-6, halftime score. 
Um, so I'm going to pause it at this point. I mean, I know it's tough to go back into, you know, eight years ago and think, but um, anything you guys remember at halftime, like feeling like, how are we down like this? Or do you guys feel good about that last touchdown? I felt like we had some confidence. You guys, any of you guys remember anything? I don't know. Uh, I, yeah. I, yeah, I remember being like, I don't remember like realizing what we had on that last touchdown there. So I remember just being like, you know, here we go again. It was like my third year in varsity. So I know you lose two games in the regular season. You know, it's not looking for good for playoffs and stuff. So I was like, damn. And uh, at the beginning there, I didn't mention it in the intro, but like Coach Boyer like called us all out and called me out for like fumbling in the first game and stuff. So I was just thinking like, damn, like here we go again, just getting our ass kicked. And then, you know, then obviously we wake up in that in that second half with that with that play mm -hmm. that I'm pretty sure at one point we ran like five times in a row and they yeah. just could not they just could not stop it. Yeah. It was like it's coming. All right, this is this is gonna be a fun half. Rest of this game is fun. There's not that we we play perfect, but it's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got through the tough part of the game. All right, run Veer again. The Will's running tough the whole game. Tough to go down. Plans to Hoban, just incomplete. A Gallucci probably at this point, I, I, I see if I have it here still. I mean, I don't have the exact numbers, but he was something like two of 11 at one point, and then he finishes like six of seven. Hmm. That was bad blocking by me. Boyer tore me up after that. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't pretty. I got third down, three, I mean, three, third down out, three and out. You know, not looking good, but our defense starts to step up here. Oh, Willie, after, that, after that three and out, I did not feel good going back out on defense. I, I'll mm -hmm. tell you that much. My motivation was gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a coach, it wasn't exactly good because you got the score we needed at halftime, but now they came out with the stop. But uh, Will Tracy uh, – actually, Will Tracy. Will, uh, Wayne Hoffman's in now, even though he's, he's playing on, like, one leg. <laughs> and Gallucci sets some momentum there a little bit. Lays a big hit. Second down. Run sweep this time. Now JC comes out with a big tackle. So we're starting to groove a little bit more on defense. Rob, good job forcing him inside there. Bro, yeah. I was literally just a dummy for forcing shit inside this whole game. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Tony. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I remember just standing there, just eating the pull block from the guard. And at this point, I was 145 pounds. And uh, it was very tough to stay in my ground. Yeah. But clearly it worked. Go Pinto, big tackle there on a third and long. They try to run the ball on a buck. And uh, we end up uh, getting the three and out we needed after three and out. So even though maybe confidence wasn't high, Morrison, we got the stop we needed. And uh, we're getting the ball back now. Yeah. Here we go. Big run there. Mm -hmm. Well, Tracy getting going. I was definitely out of breath after that play. <laughs> so just just had saying. To pull the oxygen over. Yeah, and then we had to read the play, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, we came with a no play, too. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I we could a little break there. All right, Will Tracy again. Reaching that ball out for every half inch. <laughs> Got to. Yeah. Got to. Got to. Got 
And we're finally getting the sophomore Schultz involved there with the hitch. Came a little late, but I think first catch of the game for you there. And uh, we're going to need you in this half, that's for sure. Scrambling. And I was like, oh, I thought he was going to get sacked again. And he threw it. Yeah. Like, oh, God. <laughs> we'll, we'll going through here. All right, so I see our offensive line starting to move a little bit. Will's starting to get a little burst. I remember in the game right now, I'm like, okay, this is starting to feel like the way it's supposed to feel. And uh, uh -huh. you see the body language is better. And I think we're starting to realize we could compete with these boys and, and take control here. They're confused with this formation with Goldman in. Um, they're confused. It definitely messes them up a little bit. This time we pitch it out to Mike. Lost his footing. We still get three, four yards there. No problem there. Typical of me. <laughs> Always falling. Feet were moving fast there. This time run outside Veer again. Will's running. You know, they get a good push there with their alignment, 76, 78, but still push through five yards. Now we get them on a no play. They jump off sides, big first down. And I uh, think we have a touchdown coming, so let's play it out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lolly checking in with the touchdown there. They're they're pissed off. Um, and this is one of those things with Colucci, like doesn't show up in the stat book. Like his reads in this game were very good. That was so easy. You know, like for him to just pull it and pitch it out there and you to pretty much walk into the end zone, this is really well executed job, you know, by everyone. But Galucci gets getting the reads and not afraid to pitch it here. Cause yeah, go which was pitching them things that night. Yeah. It was uh it was a very good job. All right. Well, we don't want to spoil what happens next, but I, I definitely want to say that uh we're feeling good at this point. And um I think confidence is back on the sidelines. We're feeling uh you know, we just went right down the field on him. We just had a three and out. We should be good to go. You know, we just gotta get the defense back out there. And uh we're gonna get another stop. But Lakeland had another plan, so let's watch. <laughs> hmm. I think we had a problem with special teams that year. Yeah, we did. Yeah. You want to know what the problem was is that we put a lot of people that weren't, like, seniors on it. <laughs> yeah, like, you usually put the non-starters there, you know, yeah. playing time, and they uh, didn't do such a good job here, unfortunately. I remember one game, Fred was like, get them all out, put in all the seniors. <laughs> well, I remember that. I remember I was supposed to be on kickoff, but because uh, I heard my ankle the game before, Coach Fred took me off of kickoff for this week. Yeah. And I remember seeing this and just being – Absolutely livid about it. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I thought he like dropped it before. He also put the burners on though. This kid. Oh, this kid was watch, yeah. watch, 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 watch. Watch. He drops it before he gets in the end zone. One hundred percent. He drops it at the one yard line. 100%. I was waiting for someone to say that because. All right. So let's watch it again. Now look. He runs. No, he drops it. <laughs> he was gonna score, but he dropped it. One hundred percent. Tyler Matthews. Uh, let's check this kid's a great – I mean, great run, great play. Yeah, he broke a couple tackles there. He definitely juked like six dudes. Yeah, and put on the burners. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and pause it at the right time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. They, oh. I can maybe do it better. I was pausing this a couple days ago when I was watching it the first time. It's He's in. not in. That's not – So this is like oh, one of the things, like the refs are calling everything. And, like, this is one of the things they don't call. Oh, 
And it's Matt, like, Matt kind of realized he went to pick it up, but I guess they must yeah. have the whistle. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like if we were more adamant about it and jumped on the ball, yeah. they might have given it to us. Maybe. But I remember watching that on film and uh becomes a thing. All right. I want to go back for a second here. So this is one of those foreshadowing plays. Will Tracy, who is our linebacker, just watch him on this play. Gets through pretty clean. But I think it goes missed. This is going to become important shortly. Mm -hmm. Just keep watching. All right, so that I've shown you the Marson thing. I showed you this thing. These things come back to haunt Lakeland a little bit later. Um, and I just want to pause and talk for a little bit of a second, not even pause, but – as a coach, I thought, like, okay, it's not our night. We just had the comeback drive. They get a kick return for a touchdown. Like, I felt like it wasn't our night. But you guys hung tough here. We need an answer drive, though. Like, we definitely can't go three and out sort of thing. Will gets going again. Uh, Six-yard run. I don't know if this is the big play. Nope. Lucci tries to run the ball. Listen, they were just keying on him. After he ran for over 120 versus Tap and Z, you know, it's, they're going to key on him. It's understandable. All right, so now Coach Boyer's talking to me a little bit, um, and I'm calling in the plays to you guys. I remember him making – I don't know if it was this play. I remember him making this call, if this is the play. Uh, there's a lot of plays in this game. And I remember loving it because I felt like this has been open the whole game. So let's see if this is it. I think it is. So I think Gallucci, who I, I'm, I feel like I'm speaking for him here, was missing these passes earlier on in this game because he's throwing it too late. Now he throws it early. And, Rob, do you remember anything about this play? Yeah, actually, I remember kind of just like, you know, just waiting for it to be called again. It was one of those plays where, you know, we called it two or three times already and we missed the passes. And I just remember just sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. And then when my number finally got called, I was finally, thank you, not going to mess this up. Yeah. And uh, clearly it all paid off, and it was great. That was one of those plays that you got excited for in the huddle when it was called because yeah. – just I like just knew it was wide there, open. I knew a lot of backers wide, wide, wide open. Yeah, so it, it's definitely fun to call that in the huddle. You get excited. He's even plays as a coach that when you call, you're a little more excited for than like some of the plays. Like that was one of them. I remember him calling, and I'm like, yes, coach, good call. And I know we, we had the hitches, so we could throw the hitch out there, but I think Anthony made, Gallucci made the great call there, getting it up the seam. And, uh, I mean, that's a momentum play we needed. After they hit a big momentum play, for us to come right back was awesome. All right, then we get it back to Will Tracy. And, and this is where Will – it's this part of the game where the pile just always seems to go our way. We mm -hmm. missed the linebacker there a little bit, but, like, that should be stopped at the 10, but we get to the 7, and that's huge. You know, for us to now get the momentum, it seems like you and, and all the other linemen wore them down. Okay, now we throw that little jump ball to our sophomore, and he gets it. So let's go back there. I thought it was on third down. I apologize. Let's take a look here. So Schultz, I mean, as a sophomore, you're going to have a great career your junior and senior years, but what's it like to have uh, the play called for you on a jump ball in the end zone sort of thing, even as a young sophomore? Did you feel like a lot more pressure or was it like normal for you? Uh, I would say more or less like the week before when we played Tap and Z when Boyer called, uh, called it right before halftime. Right. Uh, more pressure then, I would say. I had done it. So I had completed the pass, or Gallucci completed the pass to me before halftime and caught it then. I more or less thought the corner was trash. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to let you know that I more or less knew the corner was trash, and as soon as we pulled this play, I knew it was a touchdown. I mean, I, I, know, I know later in the game some other things happened, but uh, 
He was he was playing so far off the whole game. I know. I was just gonna say, look at him. I mean, you still completed the pass, but if you throw that in fast, exactly. he's four so, yards away from me. He was more or less from like, where he, he is. Yeah. He could have caught him like five slugger. and just and just ran him over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's senior year Schultz. That's a slugger, coach. That <laughs> right, looks like yeah, that's definitely, <laughs> definitely senior year Schultz. <laughs> Benelli with almost getting knocked over by Schultz this chest bump there. I love that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So more, uh, strength and he, he let on even as a sophomore. All right, that's the one we needed. Got the drive right back, 27 uh, 20. So it's still only the third quarter. So much left still in this game. We're definitely feeling good at this point, though. You could tell we're all amped. Yeah. 100. Yeah. And we skipped. I just remember going out on defense knowing like we haven't played since that kick return. I want to play defense right now and yeah. get a stop. Let's see how we do here. I think we have a pretty good defensive drive. They make it a first down, but they start with the pass. And they complete it. This kid was unbelievable. This quarterback. Mm -hmm. Tony, did he, he go and play anywhere? I don't know. No, I, I don't didn't ever hear his name after this game. But... He might have got an offer just based off this game. <laughs> it's like <laughs> a whole highlight film. <laughs> this game is definitely his highlight, bro. Yeah, it's he makes some great throws in some tough situations, especially in the fourth quarter. JC coming through. Oh, JC. That's what I'm talking about. Up top. Nice second down. And right, so now Gallucci's playing well. Marcico safety. End up getting a first down to number six, Anthony Capozzi. I don't remember remember too many guys' names, but I remember his name from another team. Yeah. Annoying. Run sweep again. This time Lolly's figuring it out. Don't make the tackle, but Marcico does. Lolly, you're a very coachable kid. I, I'm sure you knew that growing up, but like you didn't make many of the same mistakes twice. So they kept trying to run it at you. You just kept doing better and better with the play. I ate that stiff RV, Mike. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second down. Lucy's going. Unbelievable throw. Yeah, that was crazy. That's a little bit Raleigh with Lolly with a big tackle. I should have a pick. Such a great throw. And at this point, I'm almost like, okay, well, they're going to score again, but now we just need to get a score back. But uh, we're going to hang tough. Okay, they had a false start. Marson was coming through. I was going to kill that kid. If it was we, had a, we had a sniff on that one for sure. All right. Unlaggle again. This time he runs it. Great open field tackle by Pinto. Will, cle Will cleaned it up pretty nice too. All right, so right now I think the quarterback is 10 for 10. And he finally misses one. Mm. Good coverage by Scarpa, but fun for him to miss one felt like – felt so good. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just play this play, and then let's have a long discussion, guys, okay? Let's just mm. – not sure why they didn't go for it. I feel like it's – <laughs> Uh, I so much where I passed the ball. I know. I did. <laughs> Out of excitement, he was like, oh, shit. I think I pulled a little Cam Newton here, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. That was brutal. So much going on here. All right. So let's just start the beginning of the play. So when we said before, Will Tracy, you got that same look. You're able to kind of push through. And you come through and you block the kick, which is awesome. Now, this is a live ball. Right. Now, what's crazy <laughs> is – They didn't know that. <laughs> Lakeland certainly did not know that because Lakeland's coming off to the sideline here. It seemed like half our team didn't know that either. No. no <laughs> We're screaming it. Mr. Pinto on the sideline screaming it. Everyone's screaming it. But what's amazing is I'm going to try and play it. See if you can hear the whistle. It doesn't come until, like – 
halfway yeah. by the time you're running. Listen. <laughs> It came there. Right. Will look back immediately. It, yeah, it, I just – I remember, like, hearing the whistle while we were running to let I, yeah, Mike to pick it up. And then, I, and then Mike was about to stop, and I was like, no, just keep going. Like, they could call, like, an inverted yeah. whistle. But that was just bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I stopped oh. running at, like, the 45 because I heard the whistle. And I was like, what the hell is happening right now? In a game where there's so many, like, flags and stuff and things like, you know, the refs had a big impact, for them to do this here felt, like, devastating. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I was pissed. This was a great play by us to get the stop, and then for us to feel like we run it back and tie the game was, like, so detrimental. But I tell you what, this is one of the most proud moments of, of how I – of your guys' game and your guys' season was this here. Because you could tell our sideline is furious. Oh, yeah. we have the ball. It's 27-20. Um, I remember not being able to breathe after that, too, because, like I said, I, <laughs> I didn't practice all summer because I was injured. So this was my first game, and I ran that far, and I remember just begging Coach Fred to put someone in for me. I could not breathe. Yeah, so that's what we do. We move Will Tracy to the wing, put Johnny Donatio <laughs> in, and Johnny Donatio gets going. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice 13. Yeah, whenever, whenever Johnny went in at fullback, he always did a great job. Yeah. Just getting, getting good yards, yeah. Underappreciated for sure. Yeah, Johnny was uh, one of those dudes who just ran straight, but he got yards. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the sidelines amped up. You know, we, we now felt like we were cheated sort of thing. All right, but instead of, you know, kind of putting the tail between the le uh, legs and starting to feel like we're being cheated, we end up uh, coming out fire in this drive. And uh, there's like 10 minutes left in the game, so – we need a drive to score big time. Offensive line starts doing a really good job again. Start getting a good push off the ball. Gallucci's getting going a little bit. See Hoban blocking down the field. Like, you could tell there was a fire lit under our asses now. And uh, a lot of teams would have just, like, said, oh, you know, refs are out to get us sort of thing. But you guys did a good job. Marson up the seam. I mean, you could just tell. Like, you could tell when a team is into it. You just look at the sidelines. Big hype when I caught that. It was a big play. I forgot I was at wing for a little. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy how many things you forget. Now we get Will back into the old reliable uh, fullback. He gets five or six. I love as a coach. I love as a player, like, when you're in these types of momentum games. Lucci busting outside, hard run, eight yards. Now we're just getting a good chunk every play. I used to love running that wham block where you just go right up for, in through the hole and hit yeah. the linebacker. That was so fun. Yeah, linebackers don't usually see it coming. Yeah. Focused on the uh, running backs and stuff inside. You can tell I can't breathe here still. <laughs> <laughs> what you do, you can't get ready for football shape, man, especially after an injury. I don't like it. Well, Tracy's in good shape, though. Carry <laughs> 17. I'm pretty sure the only reason I was playing fullback was because Mike got hurt, too. Yeah, Mike was our original yeah, yeah. fullback that year. That was the plan, yeah. right? You were going to play some fullback, but we were going to have him there. Worked right, out. Right. Oh, Will had a monster season. He had a real good game yeah. against Brewster, too. Brewster, yep. Oh, yeah, Brewster. That was a hard yeah. record. No, I don't even want to think about that game. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. That one hurt. That one hurt. But positive ones. This is a great game. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Will again. Again, just Gallucci just didn't miss reads this game. That was another good read, another hard uh, set of yards there. Three yards. Bring Goldman in. Schultz out. And I think we're going to go back to old reliable. And Will's going to break through again. So let's take a look for touchdown two. For <laughs> Big one there. All right, so now it's yeah, 26. Pretty, pretty much un, almost untouched right there again, too. 
When you, uh, I mean, so I, I play, you know, I'm just asking like as a general thing, when you're playing this position as a fullback, do you know you're about to have a big run like as it's developing or like, like do you see this whole kind of developing like, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Or is like, what's the situation? I think uh, it was mostly on this play, like on the outside veer, like there was, especially this game, there's almost like nobody there. Like you, all you see is because you're going, you're like more, more outside than usual. Like usually you're, just taking it up the middle and it's all crowded. Like here, it's just like, you saw like the, the read block that was like way outside and then you didn't see any linebacker and you're just like full, full open field. Yeah. I mean, they clearly told five this game, you're on Gallucci, you're on the quarterback and they did not change it. Yeah. And we, we started exploiting that a little bit and uh, for you to get through there and for us to be Gold, down. Goldman had, a, Goldman had a big block there too. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Good game. Goldman. I mean, he started to show what he can do a little bit as a junior. This is a very senior-heavy team. So when a couple of underclassmen beside Schultz stepped up, it was big. And that was one of those there. So this is a pivotal extra point, obviously, um, to tie it up. And uh, Nick nails it. All right. And we're we're have a pump. So, so light. <laughs> All right, so about probably like seven minutes left in the game. I uh, got defense coming up here. And um, – we clearly have all the momentum. Uh, this kickoff is not going to go well for them, even though they make it eventful. I think Coach Fred told him to squib. Yes, and don't kick it to six. And I think that's six. Yeah, yeah, that's six. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is they had a penalty. All his dance in there uh, ended up hurting him a little bit. Um, oh, yeah, that, that's when he got hurt, isn't it? No, he stays in, I think. Who, who got hurt? Five or six? I think a fullback. Twenty-seven or twenty-seven. You're right. right let's watch the hit. Guy. This Mike's hit. Yeah, this is right there. Watch Mike this. Merlin. This is Scarpa. Scarpa always had a knack for for jumping. Oh, out. this is one of, was like third or fourth down. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that hit. I don't remember this one. Wait. <laughs> Look at the sideline. I love the sideline. Yeah. You think we wanted to win? Yeah. <laughs> I just like watching Coach Sill on the sideline. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Coach Sill. All right, this is the big Marson play. So, earlier in the game, they ran the scissors play, and they had gotten like 14, so they try and run it again. But on this play, Marson's unaccounted for, and he makes some pay. So, watch 15 here. Big tackle for loss. Yeah, um, that wasn't happening. Now that, was, like, that was a big tackle. Yeah, huge yeah. I, I was so hyped. So I they ran that before, and I just was too slow. So not that one. Pretty good there. All right, so this is the third and long. Uh, so let's watch big hit coming from twenty-four. Yeah, takes <laughs> right out. Yeah, there it is. Oh, <laughs> great hit. I got a little nervous because of all the flags in the team. I thought uh -huh. maybe. Ejected. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. I think, I, think I had like here. the perfect view. Watch him. He just got a follow shoot. I know. <laughs> I was definitely screaming and I almost like stepped over him. But that like, there's nothing better than hitting someone hard. Like you get up and you just fired up. Yeah. Like, you flew out of the cannon at the time when you were coming down. <laughs> that was not fun. That was my favorite part of the game, I'm telling you. Yeah. I remember I remember mistiming that jump ball and tipping it up in the air and yeah. just praying, praying oh, that it didn't yeah. land in that guy's hands. And then I turned around and Mike had him on the floor. Yeah. And I was just, just like, thank you. What a terrible uh, punt. I remember that. Terrible punt. Holy shit. That was like four minutes left. So we're in, like, good shape here. Now it's just like, okay, we have a field goal kicker. Well, obviously, we want a touchdown, so it's some weird stuff that happens on these next few plays. So let's watch. Uh, get Will going. I'm sorry they pitch it out to Mike. Mike gets a good five yards, but now it's a penalty. Holden, yeah. Holden. On Holden. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I have no idea. So many flags in this game. That was like the one thing we didn't need. Let's go backwards. Pull us out of field goal range a little. Uh, give it to Will this time again. Will goes for five or six. It just seems like every play this this half, five or six for Will, five or six for Will. Mm 
Now we try and throw a, a vert pass to uh, Marcico. Good throw away by Gallucci because it wasn't there. I forget what weird thing happens, but something weird is about to happen. Can't, it's some type of penalty, I think. Oh, my God. We tried Ooh. to see the concept. It was almost – Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that. They dropped it. Um, and that could have been a big, big trouble for us because he might have had some room to run. Mm -hmm. Looked like I drifted back, too, instead of just sitting there. Yeah, possibly. All right, so now it's it's fourth down, but something happens here. We oh, that's what it is. Watch this little thing. Whoop! Pushes Gallucci. Late penalty. Yeah. Huh? Well, because he definitely said something too. That's what it de looked like, also. But good for him. Now it's fourth and one. So they gave us a gift there. Try and draw him off. I love that uh, no play we used to have with the motion. Did it work a lot? I don't even remember it worked. I don't know if it worked necessarily a lot, but it looked cool. When we needed it. <laughs> it's like the reverse. Like the reverse on the special teams didn't work too much, but like it looked cool. Yeah. 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 Totally the, not a, the reverse on, on kick return had its moments too. It yeah, did. I remember a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> but like – One every year. Thanks to that reverse. <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> All right. So Wait, now, was there a penalty on that play? Yeah, that's what, uh, that, this is another weird thing. Have. We get the first down. I don't know who. Probably just someone under on the pile. We get a penalty. I don't know what the penalty was, but, like, this was the entire game. So we got the first down, but now it's first and 10 from the 28. Uh, I don't really get it. <laughs> A big gang tackle there on Will. We did get a few yards. Give it out to Mike. I think you get a good run there. Third down. Other guys hobbled up. Yeah, I think I tricked him or something. <laughs> The no play didn't work. A lot of times, I think we use that just to see what yes. they were going to do. And then we changed it up. That's what I like about it. Yeah, it was it was very helpful from that. I agree with that. Will again first down, and now we're like under three minutes. We're feeling good. Like we want the touchdown here, but we know we have Nick in the back pocket, and. Uh, now it's just like don't have penalties, don't turn it over, and uh, we should be in good shape. Did the lights go out yet? No. You'll see it on film. It's, it's, it's a <laughs> difference. A little mix-up there on the play. We were trying to run cold right. And now we go rocket to Morrison. Yeah, this is like, my slowness. <laughs> sometimes you got to tip your cap because number two there makes a great play. I like, thought this was touchdown when I was like, running it, to be honest. Here it looks good. Here it looks really good. But this guy just kind of comes flying up, and he makes a really good play. Mm. And that gets us to third down. And uh, we decide to run the QB counter, which worked very well versus Tap and Z, but they're ready for it here. All right, let's watch and then let's talk. Obviously a pretty epic moment coming up here. <laughs> Nailed it. Wow. That was, that was sick. That was mm -hmm. awesome. Who else was in that? Who else was in that? I was going to say, I remember. Hey, 
Me, Bro, I remember that, was, that. That was the most aggressive uh, <laughs> free field goal I've ever gotten. From it was insanely aggressive, and Clems went all feel- after Clemson's ex girlfriend and. Clemson. Oh my Clemson god! Was the pressure, <laughs> I remember that. Oh. Let me tell you something. He bangs it, but I am, guys. Just just watch the film again. Just watch what happens to, to Clems after oh, he kicks it. Gets hit. Murdered. Oh. He gets crushed. Yeah, I know. They don't call it. They don't no, call that's what it. made it that much. That's, what, that's probably what made him so much more hype because he got True, Steve. Yeah. True. Dude, how this was not a penalty roughing the kicker, I don't know. Not that it matters because he made it, but of all the yeah. balls, that one wasn't oh, cold. First of I, all, I think we should all really tip our cap to, to Clems there because just hitting a field goal, and we're in high school, like, we okay. don't really that's, – that's difficult. I mean, that's a end of the fourth quarter – yeah, right yeah. there at a high school level, and that that's insane, really. It is. You ready for this statement I'm about to make? It might have been the first field goal I've ever seen in an Eastchester game, as long as I've been around. Oh, I JV. Kickers, I don't crazy. know one. Besides I Mike, am Mike. Besides Mike's fucking. Yeah. The <laughs> boo. Oh, the oh, boo. Mike is a 45 yard field goal in 10th grade. Yes. Yeah. No, boo. it's just insane. But on Vars. Yeah, Tony. On Vars. Tony, I was, about to, I was about to say that. Uh, that was like I definitely wasn't feeling too good about that because that was I think like the third major field goal like with the in varsity like yeah. the two before that as I can remember is the one versus Tappan Z the year now two years prior yeah. Yeah. where we fumbled the oh, right. fumbled the exchange twice yeah. Yeah. Uh, against Tappan Z and then I think we had one my junior year this year prior when we were playing on our home field. <laughs> Where the same thing happened, he fumbled the the exchange. Correct. And yeah. yeah. And so usually it does Brewster not go well. Brewster again, yeah. Yeah. Will, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a great call, man. Because both field goal attempts that were for either for ties or for wins, we had blown. Right, and now we finally have redemption. That's a great point. I forgot all yeah. about that. I just remember the week before in Tapazi, we were in a position to kick like a similar field goal, we and did. Fred chose not to. Yeah. yeah. And then that Friday before, he lined us up right at that same spot before Lakeland, or like, yeah, right before, and kicked it, and he made it. He was like, all right, we're in that position. We're going to kick it. Yeah, and he Uh, nailed it. So awesome. Um, So now Lally has a big incompletion. There's probably like a minute 30 left in the game. We're feeling pretty good. Um, They did a pretty good kick return. But this Prunty kid just starts really doing great. I mean, this is a great effort by seven. Get out of bounds there. Still in good shape, though. JC, good pressure. He ends up uh, getting incompletion. So fourth down, this is the game. Coming up here. And... You don't get to see it in real uh, in real time. We just had about thirty minutes off, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> so Can you imagine that, like forty five seconds crazy. left in the fourth quarter in this insane game that lights just cut yeah. out on us. I thought Honestly, it, was so it felt fair. like we were in. I felt like we were in a movie or something, like a TV yeah. show, yeah. like something like that should never happen. And yeah. the fact that under these circumstances, you know, we came back and finished forty five seconds of, of regulation was insane. And what I you remember, guys may forget, what you guys may forget is we weren't sure if we were going to finish this game. I know. Right. Yeah. right. We didn't know if I it was all the time. I also remember being so tired because it's almost like halftime where you've just, like, fought your heart out and then now you're stopped and you're not moving around and you're starting to feel the bumps and bruises already because the adrenaline's starting to wear off. You're going to mm-hmm. stretch a little bit. Yeah. And you go right into, like – Prime time, fourth quarter, got to make a stop. It's it was. It's also, it's also 11 p.m. Yeah. after a full school day. Yeah. You know, I mean, not that we did much during school anyway, but you know, <laughs> it's still. Yeah. So they run fourth down. They run the quarterback sneak after a 30 minute delay, and I, I mean, it was legitimately 30 minutes. That those lights took 25 minutes to get back on, and it's yeah. still the lights not 100 percent perfectly. Yeah. And then I'm gonna let it play with some sounds here. This is just wild. <laughs> Thank 
stole man that slipped in. Yeah, it was a good coverage, good throw. This this is the play that's just bizarre. Watch this one. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> now I feel like we're gonna lose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that was that moment. Yeah, you're like, oh no. Yeah, literally. I I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, the guy just fumbled the snap. They I throw it at. It. I would say Rob's, you know, our top corner at this point. You throw it at him. From my view on the side, I'm like, this is intercepted. It's intercepted. Yeah. And the guy catches it, and I'm just like, I guess we're gonna lose. I I, I remember I remember taking like a half a step, like too late off my bad ankle and I was just like he's gonna catch it. I know he's gonna catch it now and it was absolutely heartbreaking. I remember no, I let the whole team down there. I looked back and I was like he just made that throw with yeah. like we or in his face he just like picked it. I'm, I'm, it's crazy. I would like wanna <laughs> tip my cap at him but it's like it, it was so crazy at this point. So now I'm like they're lining up for field goal and I'm like I'm almost like thanking them. Are you guys still with me here? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Internet connection's yeah. unstable. Okay, I think we're good. <sighs> Let's watch this one. Unbelievable. <laughs> that still hurt. This dude, when he kicked it, he knew it right away. Like, watch him. Uh-huh. I found this on film. I was watching. I started laughing. This dude's like <laughs> he in the air. Watch your kicker. He starts running away. Yep, he starts going crazy. It, it literally looked like he kicked. He kicked it and did the Steph Curry and looked away. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. Like One yard. It it. Look at how he kicked it too. It like barely makes it. Honestly, he barely made it. Yeah. Yeah. Straight, but he, he barely got there. Yeah, you're looking at it, Mike. So, like, look, Lakeland's, you know, obviously been a big play. I love their sideline, too. You can tell just, like, this is, like, a big, big football game. Guys are just having a great time enjoying themselves. It, it's good to see, you know, is, as much as that hurt there. Yeah, and, we were uh, so emotionally involved, as you could tell. The yeah. emotions were just running high on both sides. Um, so, Rob had a little lane here. I wanted it so bad. I wanted to ice this game oh, so yeah. bad and just silence it. Ooh, they just Pat Pat it. Bones? and Pat Wright with a, uh, with Pat a Pat block. Surprise! <laughs> now, I hate calling people out for throwing their helmets. They think it's childish. <laughs> just <laughs> Nick. They just come in. I don't even think Coach Fred knows what to do. Once he throws his helmet, <laughs> I think like Nick's like I was a hero. <laughs> it was the weakest helmet throw ever. Yeah, he couldn't be mad at the helmet throw, but like I think he was like supposed to be the hero. Um, so right now it's like 11.45 at night. <laughs> I'm a new yeah. teacher, by the way. This is my first year of teaching, and I'm like, I don't know if I can call out of work, but I'm already <laughs> thinking about it at this point. <laughs> um, I'll just skip ahead a little bit. This is just a coin toss. I'm going to miss here. All right. Um, so we end up getting the ball first in overtime number one. And, um, you know, you obviously want to be on defense to start a little bit. Yeah. And uh, we start with a false start. Yep. And uh, start. that's not the way we start. No. <laughs> but even so, we're moving the ball good. We just got to keep it going, try and go rock it to Marcico, and uh, they got momentum. So big yeah. stop there, second down. Try a fade to Schultz on their corner. He covers it better that time. You've got your feet tangled. Incomplete. Third down. Try it again. Incomplete. I thought that was a touchdown. I really thought he had that. Yeah, it was – it looked like you had it and just kind of rolled off at the end. This corner is very happy. Did you hate the corner celebrating there like he, you know, made the entire world the difference being two yards behind Schultz when it hit him? Because <laughs> the corners do. So now it's like fourth and a mile. <laughs> Can't kick this. this. is a 47-yard field goal. And uh, they get the stop. Yeah, now I feel like we're going to lose. I know I said this about five times in this video, but I'm like, they just hit a field goal. And, 
we haven't exactly stopped them. So all they need is a field goal is to win. And uh, Pinto and Will, Tracy on the tackle there. I can't say morale is very high right now. No. Nope. No. Third and four coming. I felt like this is a stop we needed. We needed it bad. Run right at us. They almost like look like they're conceding to the field goal. Mm-hmm. And they get the fourth down. And uh, they decide to do the field goal. So let's watch. You think that's big? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice themselves. That was huge. They should have still kicked it. Yeah. No celebration that time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Watching that and being like, scared to watch that. Marson, though. Marson. Yeah, the hand. in the crowd. Oh, yeah. I was like, shut the fuck up. They were uh, screaming at us on the megaphones that game. They were really going to Lakeland fans. It made for a good atmosphere, though. Oh, yeah. All right. So in overtime, too, obviously the opposing team that doesn't get the ball to start now gets it now. So they're going to come out and. uh, they're going to put it together. Brunty's going. Gets a first down. Seven and six. Those are the guys. You know, I'm uh... – no, yeah, six is right there. Try it again here. I want to talk to you, Rob Lolly. Um, I thought your career career ended. How's that sound? Oh yeah, I slipped on the blacktop after, and that was just oh oh that hurts so much. I it was definitely up, scared for a second too. It ended up being a first off, it's incomplete. So let's let's just move past that. It is incomplete. He was out of bounds. I saw it live. And I, like, almost started running out to the field. Not that I could have done anything, but just to kind of be there for moral support because I thought your career was over, seriously. The way your leg bends. Yeah. And you ended up having, like, a scrape or something. Yeah, it literally – I literally scraped it on the, uh, on the blacktop back there. And I remember, I remember complaining to that Lakeland AD that their blacktop – like, there should be blacktop two yards behind the turf. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, the Lakeland player thought it was bad. Yeah. Um, all right, so incomplete there. They're going to try and run it again with Prunty. Complete to six. Oh, my God, this guy's unbelievable. I wish I was a little taller. <laughs> all right. Big third down coming. Let's watch here. All right. Well, you know, they scored. No big deal. We just now need to go back. And then this happens. So this dude, number five, bangs the 40-yarder. But now he's missed two extra, you know, the field goal and the extra. Yeah. The yeah. flying thing, I guess. From the from the so now we're golden. Like, okay, we, we could definitely score. We got Clems as the kicker. We're in good shape here. Let's see what goes on. I think we get Schultz going a little bit here. If I'm not mistaken, let's see. Makes sense. We ran, you know, two fades in a row. Just get him with a hitch. Could have just done that all game. Now that I saw yeah. that, the guy was playing five yards off him. Yeah. Yeah. First and seven. I don't think Luchy liked me enough that yet. He was throwing the whole <laughs> of the game. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sophomore. Well, if he ran hitches, you know it was going to help. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wide receiver one. <laughs> hitches and Frisco. Yeah. He loved that 10 yard in. I think his favorite route to run. All right. Gallucci and to Tracy. And Will, I think, is going to get one here. Let's see. Maybe not this one. It? Yep. There it is. I've been stumbling my way in. I'm like, all right, let's start the buses. This game's over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Seriously. What a game. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so I remember watching in disbelief. Yep. <laughs> so from my angle it looked good, but like I look at Spinelli, I think I look at JC here, like Pooch, you guys you guys know it's not good. Like your hands go to your head right away. Yeah, watch mm. me. Yeah. At center. Yeah. <laughs> Do the same thing. Like I'm just watching you guys. We're like Bro, that should have been a penalty. Nope. Oh, yeah. My, I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> should have been penalty. I, I, I stare at it going, why? Rob, 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 Rob should, it should have been a penalty. Yeah, he jumped over you. That is oh, true. Yeah, he went way right over Rob. They, they, these refs just didn't make those calls, though. They, they, were, yeah. they weren't doing that. You weren't getting that call. They were no. just enjoying the game, I think. Yeah, they yeah. weren't going to. Triple overtime. They got to do it. On a Monday night, why not? Yeah, Why not? <laughs> midnight. It's all right. No one's got anywhere to be. No. I, maybe they were getting paid overtime. Who knows? <laughs> oh, yeah. they got overtime. They certainly do not. Yeah, they get paid for overtime. That's funny. <laughs> um, it was forty-five dollars in the flag league, so I don't know how what the <laughs> rates going. <laughs> in high school. We tried to hitch and go here. My heart almost sank. I thought it was going to be picked. That's good. Either mm. new or no one. And then uh, let's go to carry number twenty-seven for. Uh, Mr. Number Six, Will Tracy. Make it look probably easy. like untouched. Yeah, we'll that's probably like the touch. best. Yeah, that was probably like the best cut I guess <laughs> I've ever <laughs> made. Because I just I saw like the open field and then it was just smooth. Like I saw him out the corner of my eye and. Uh, I was like, oh, he's gonna he's gonna overplay this. All I gotta do is cut it right back. It was and I was basically just walked right in. I was like, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'll take I'll take some of the credit for that because I was in the worst spot possible that I got oh, right yeah. away to oh, yeah. forced to go right. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's no other way to but go. there's no one left, but I'm right in your way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like you had to go right, otherwise you're gonna run. Mike was gonna tackle you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I what I love about that is we get a good push from Pinto Pooch, our left side JC, and uh, we just kind of sneak in there. And uh, I remember Coach Fred specifically in the headset here, like, do we go for two? And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't have any say, but I'm like in my head, like I'm not at that part of point of my coaching career, but I'm like, their kicker hasn't really made a kick, so we should just kick it. But then they do something stupid. Okay. So we go back to the play before. There's a lot of foreshadowing in this game. They jumped over Lolly. This kid tries it again. He steps off sides. That's yes, crucial. Yeah. yeah. Because now we're like, okay. We have this guy number six they haven't stopped, and we're only a yard away, so I want to do this again. <laughs> Same play. Ooh, yeah. I honestly thought we won the game. I forgot we had to go back on defense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now this is the best place to be as a team in overtime. Now you know you can't lose. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's a perfect place to be. Um, now we just need to get a stop, and even if they score, we just got to get the two-point stop. And uh, – they're going to score quick. Let's take a look. Ah! 
Jesus Christ. This play is absurd, by the way. I thought it went to the guy behind him. If you watch me, I def I played so defense on him perfectly. Or so it's guy. like someone stole the ball away from you because you're going to hit this kid, play it well. Look at that. It's so funny. I think I got up and apologized, actually. Because I was like, oh, you don't have the ball? <laughs> <laughs> you mean? Oh, my God. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. Good sport. Finally, some good sportsmanship in this game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got up. I was like, "Oh, you don't have the ball." <laughs> um, I do remem remember distinctively on this play, we were screaming at uh, <laughs> the corners to watch the tight end. Mm -hmm. the yeah. 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 So before we go into this final play, that's good insight. Um, any particular thing you guys were thinking uh, prior to this? I was just like, please, for the love of God, get a stop because I don't know if you can score again. I was, I was absolutely panicking on the sideline because I didn't get to come back into the game. After the so I was panicking on the sideline that, you know, like we didn't give Fred enough reps at corner. And okay. uh, we were going to abuse him on the one-on-one -on -one side. Fred, and I was wait, Fred, Fred Hobbit was in this game at corner? Yeah. We switched Scarf over. <laughs> Holy. Oh, my God. Um, let's yeah, watch. we were definitely all having a heart attack on the sideline then. Yeah. Watch, yeah. enjoy, and then we'll come back and talk about this play a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> still... <laughs> there you go, Steve. Where? I don't see me. You tried jumping on Matt Pantel, I think. <laughs> go back a little bit. Um, so let's just talk about the play first, then we'll go into the celebration a little bit. Um, any thoughts? I know what I was thinking, but I want to hear from you guys first. I thought it was the dumbest play call they could have made. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. understand yeah. why they made that play call. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. With everything that they had going for them this entire game, they're going to choose to pull something out of Tim Tebow's playbook for no reason. <laughs> the quarterback, they give it the quarterback was like 12 they... for 15 with four touchdowns, and you're going to give it to your running back to throw the ball. Yeah, I'm Anyways. not one to go on coaching because I'm a coach, but I was almost thanking the coach. They called a great game. Their coaches really did a great job. They put up a lot of points. They were awesome. This is just one I'm happy they called like this because it didn't look good. Number, number seven, Mike Vickett, but that was crazy. Yeah. Oh, I, just, I thought he handed yeah. the ball off. But either I one. just don't I see thought, how you I don't thought he was going for the QB uh, sneak. Same. I don't see how you don't give it to six. Like, right. That's their guy. I, I don't know. And Scarpa had great coverage here. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah, he was there. Overthrown ball, but he was there. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the celebration a little bit. So, first yeah. off, you, you can't really ever think about what you're, you know, going through. Coach Sill. <laughs> Coach Sill. <laughs> Coach Sill. <laughs> But it's so nice to see, you know, all that hard work, everything, you know, for this moment, for you guys to have this is just awesome. And uh, this is why I love coaching. This is why I hope you guys love playing, too, you know, for moments like this. It was really just an amazing thing. Uh, seeing you guys going crazy, the helmets going all over the place. And just, a, you know, it's the best thing about sports. It's just a regular season game that turned into an epic, epic game. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it's something you guys live with for a long time. Out of all the years of football, this is by far the best football game I've ever been a part of. Yeah. Easily. I sure. always remember this game. It was insane. Yeah. Still my favorite game, without a doubt. Yeah, sure. For sure. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I remember going to school. I went into school, I think, like, fourth period or something like that. But I walked oh, yeah. to school the next day like a superstar. <laughs> I thought I was a superstar after this win. Yeah. I remember Steve had the cane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. The, the straight pimp cane definitely had that. That's great. great. Oh, my God. Uh, some great stuff. So um, let's just leave with the, the box score a little bit, and then we'll have some final thoughts, and we'll start wrapping it up, guys. Um, 
So, you know, passing-wise, Gallucci, like, he went eight for 21, but he started hitting some big passes. I think in the second half, he ended up being, like, six for eight. Um, he finished with 133 yards and a TD. Um, well, Tracy, you know, enough said, 26 carries, 146 yards, four touchdowns. There's not too many times where I, I can recall a guy having four touchdowns in a game. So kudos to you, Will. You really played amazing in the offensive line as well. Um, and you had a big two-point conversion, which ended up being the difference in the game. I you know, can't over, overstate that. And then it's just a whole lot of, uh, you know, guys chipping in after that. Gallucci at 12 for 43. Steve, who looked like you were set up for a much bigger game. Unfortunately, the injury got to you a little bit. So you went 7 for 48. Marcico, 7 for 28. <laughs> Flally, two carries for one yard and one touchdown, which is bizarre for you because you are always someone who had, you know, a lot of runs and a lot of catch it, uh, a lot of uh, yards, but this wasn't one of those games. Uh, Schultz, three catches, 29 yards and a touchdown. Back-to-back uh, -back games for you with the touchdown, which is great. Rob Lally, two catches, 57 yards, uh, most of them on one play. Marson, one catch for 22. Hoban, one catch for 12. Marcico, one catch for 12. Uh, Phil Pinto led the way with six tackles, but there's a whole slew of guys after that. Lally, Marson, Gallucci, JC, you guys all had five tackles. And Will finished with four, but had the big block kick, which also became a big part of the game. Um, so I want to, before we end here, just open it up to you guys. Um, I know Spinelli, if you could start, if you could just, um, show the, uh, the things that you had a little, uh, oh, yeah, I got the, got the newspapers. Let me see. Oh, this is there. JC tackling the guy. I don't know if you see it. Yep. I'm going to, uh, stop sharing. Yep. There we go. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Kind of looks like he ran oh, me over. But that was <laughs> and then this one, I don't know which one's that. Yeah. That's well. That was the will yeah, tackle, will, right? Right. I don't He's remember the article. That wild one. Yeah. Like that headline. That's it. Just those two. Thank you, AJ. Appreciate it. No problem. Um, so some final thoughts, guys. Any, any final things you want to say before we start wrapping up here? But, I mean, it, it, the game was just unbelievable. So much fun to be a part of. I think that, honestly, with all the – like, going back and rewatching all of the missed calls – that that game should have never went to overtime, and we could have been no. home in a normal hour. <laughs> <laughs> Not Especially that roughing the kicker. <laughs> yeah. By the end of the day, it also wouldn't have been triple overtime, and it wouldn't be the game that we all love. Right. So, so I, yeah. I'll take that any day. Yeah, that's definitely a game that I will truly never, ever forget. Yeah. I'm special man. Yeah, I would definitely say. Uh, playing with you guys, me being a sophomore at the time. That game and all the games after that, more or less, uh, definitely probably molded my uh, career down the line. Like, I was a little kid, you know, <laughs> kind of took me underneath yeah. your wing, Rob, yeah. Mike, Will, all those guys, Pooch too, uh, more or less took me under their wing, showed me the ropes. Uh, I would they definitely, doubted you for a second, though. definitely credit a lot of my success to the way uh, I was – more or less raised under those guys. Yeah, we we definitely tried to toughen them up because we knew you had it, Charles. Yeah. yeah. Very well said. Don't forget yep. where you started. Yeah. Ever. It was definitely, definitely fun re-watching the game. And, I mean, I was – I knew the outcome, yet I was disappointed at some time. <laughs> yeah. game, like, you know, even with the, some of the missed field goals and extra points, you know, like my heart dropped. And I even knew what happened. It was – yeah, definitely a fun game to rewatch and, and uh, you know, try to almost remember the feeling what was going through your head. Yeah, That's why we're doing this. Uh, I think there's so many great moments and uh, for the new generation of players and for the older generation of players, like, you know, to kind of go through these things and see how, how fun they were. And, you know, hopefully a lot of these younger kids, as they get through the program, they start having moments like this too. I know that's been special for you guys. And uh I really appreciate you guys coming out and, and watching this and being a part of it. You guys are a special group to me, you know, being one of my youngest, you know, my teams when I was a JV head coach and then right. grew up through the program and stuff. So it was really special to share that moment with you guys. But, you know, ultimately um, you guys end up having a, a season that, you know, has a couple more good games, but this is the one I think you guys can hang with for the rest of your, rest of your lives. And I think that's an important thing for every team to have. So I'm glad you guys got it. Or it's definitely awesome. Yeah, totally agree. Best game yeah. ever. <laughs> Any final things um, before we wrap up? I don't think so. Oh, it was nice seeing everyone. Yeah. yeah.
It's been a while. I seen all you guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we uh, certainly appreciate you guys coming out. And um, with that being said, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, Eastchester week two. Uh, we'll get week three going. Uh, we're not going to say what that game is just yet. Um, hang by your phones, guys. I think we may do another game that you guys may have been a part of in the future weeks and months. Uh, but we really appreciate you guys coming out. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And uh, that's it. So we'll, we'll see you next time for each of Vault Week 3. Thanks, guys, for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. I'll see you. Have a good one, guys.